Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to another Stardew Valley episode in which we try... Oh, never took care of that geo. Oh, we got all these geodes. Wow. Um, we really should go visit Clint's and get those taken. Look at... Hey, Marty! Hello, honey. How do you see this cat here? Yeah, I see this cat. Hi, kitty! I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. Aww. Do I get a kitty now? I think it likes this place. Hey, you think you could, this farm could use a good cat? Of course! Heck yeah, I'm gonna adopt a cat! Uh, what will I name him? Uh. Goodness, what, what's a good name for a cat? Uh. Good cat name. Fluffer. Fluffer! My cat. Well, little Fluffer. You'll be a good kid now, okay? Aww. Fluffer! I got a cat now! Remember holding the egg festival in Town Square? You should arrive between 9 and 2 for the to attend. You wouldn't want to miss out the annual egg hunt. No, I wouldn't want to miss out, Lewis. Fluffer! That's a cat now! Oh, and some of the uh, things that have grown parsnips are all grown up. We'll water all these just to uh, make sure they grow. Got a kitty! So excited about that. So the parsnips are all done. Put those in the box. Alright, and we're done. Oh, so Clint's not going to be open yet, so it's only seven. I wonder if that means that we can do some other things while we wait. Probably. It's getting some mischief. <laughs> 720, nobody's up yet. Why am I such an early riser for for everything? Go down to the old fishing hole. Maybe we'll catch some fish. See if there's anything worth uh, scavenging. Real quick. Uh, let's just check here. Nope. Nothing at the moment. Any worms hanging out? There's some seagulls. No worms though. All right, there we go. Eight ten in the morning. Still so early. Nobody's up. Get up, people! Come on! Don't sleep in on me. I feel like I'm in a ghost town now. So let's uh. We're gonna take these geodes over in a moment, but let's start off by harvesting some stuff. Whoa, there's a lot of plants down here. Looks like some fibers. Yeah. Fiber's good for you, right? Uh so is that a stick that I can mine? Yep. That's worth it. And another stick. And more sticks. And there's the uh, fortune teller. Hi, fortune teller lady. Can I talk to you? Oh. See, I guess we need a tulip. Well, I'm growing the tulips, so... I could use one, but... So in the fall. Blue couch, honey, wild horseradish. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to pass on that stuff for now. Not because I don't have a need for it ever, but I just don't have a need for it at the moment. It's 9.50, so once we finish harvesting all this wood up, we can go over to Clint's, get these geodes taken care of. Maybe there'll be something good inside of them. Oh. A little bit of a lag there on the old game. Still being a little laggy tonight. I'm going to have to check out what's going on with that because it's a little frustrating. I haven't been doing this before. So, 
Yeah, every once in a while it skips a few frames. And I don't know why. I feel like it's just the game is, maybe it's recording and the game's just buffering and it's just catching up. I don't know. But I know my energy's kind of low already. I have to get these geodes over to Clint though. So, as far as what my plans are for the first year, I think the plan is just to kind of get as much money as I can and then worry about the dating scene and stuff like that later. Get money, get resources, get paid. All right, hey Clint, uh, press its geodes, please. So, oh, interesting, granite. Right, so it's gonna cost me. Oh, malachite and some celestine. Celestine. Okay, that's cool. So maybe I can take these over to Gunther and he'll have, uh, he'll have some use for them, right? Donate to the museum. Let's see what I can donate. Donate to that and that. So get the precious gems. Oh, the kids are in there. Say hi to the kids. Hey kids! I'm not giving them a rock. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. But you can. You certainly can, Miss Penny. I don't know you. Oh. Oh, I don't really know you either. So. Yeah, that's right, kids. I'm a stranger, you shouldn't say hi to me. Because stranger danger, apparently, is a real thing in Stardew Valley. Or not, I don't know. Hey, friend. Hey, what's up, farmer guy? So, is that all I am to you? Am I, am I just farmer guy? Oh, there's Lewis. Let's go for Lewis. Uh, maybe he's got something up here he can tell us about. Lewis! Hope things are going well and you know, farmer hate seed all dried up. So would I! Something's posted today. It is Haley's birthday is tomorrow. Oh, on Saturday. It is uh, Harvey. Yay! And Abigail. I'm gonna enter the Easter egg hut. You can me? I wanna win out. Whole dang thing. Okay, starter. Race. Um, flooring? Wallpaper? Cherry sapling? Apricot sapling? So these are orange saplings, um, pomegranate. So we could save up for some of these, uh, some of these fruit things. I don't know if the investment's gonna be worth it though. It's just, you're looking at that and it's a $4,000 investment. I guess the idea is that it grows maybe multiple times during the season. So you don't have to replant it every once in a while. You can just keep growing it and growing it and growing it. And it will just continuously produce fruit every couple of days. Which, if that's the case, if it pays for itself with that, then I can see that being a, a worthwhile investment. But if it's just a one-time thing, then it's certainly not going to be worth it. Oh, Gunther didn't take my, uh... Didn't take my granite, huh? Unless I was supposed to give it to him and I failed to do that. We can hold on to it. Fill that back up. Uh, so let's take a look at our resources. And we have 92 rocks and 55 wood and 17 coal and a whole bunch of cauliflower seeds that we can grow. So how many days? It takes 12 days to produce a large cauliflower. I think we have enough time for that. So here, let me make these all Oh, all cauliflower seeds. Seven, eight, nine. And we'll just plant these all right around here. And water, 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 water. Yeah, there we go. So we got some more, some more things on the way. Thanks to Gunther for the donation. So what? 
what's over here? I feel like we want to get the axe because it seems to me that the the axe is gonna is gonna benefit us most. Let me get this friend to the mine real quick, maybe. See if we get some more uh, some more copper. Uh, but the, it looks like the axe is probably gonna benefit us most. Um, that way we can chop down the larger trees perhaps and that will gain us more wood which we can then start to collect for various various things that we want to build because woods wood is a, a big commodity here and I don't have a strong enough axe to, to chop down the wood and uh, so probably my guess is that Uh, we'll go down to five, but my my best guess is going to be that the uh, the axe is is eventually needed. Okay, and oh, there we go. Let's go down the ladder here very quickly. I found that one really quick. Wow. Um. Kill the slime. Hey, we got some slime out of it. Uh, but I feel like that's gonna be the oh, that's gonna be the big thing is getting that taken care of. And there we go. Get that guy out of the way. He's gonna run away. Oh, it's okay. So he's dead. And that slime is gonna go next. Yes! He made a poopy sound. Uh, but I really... Oh, a geode. Nice. I really need the... Uh... I really need the, the copper right now. That takes me down here. If I go back up one, can I go back up? There's a second ladder there. I uh, do nothing. Okay. Oh, so there's a block. Oh, there's some copper right here. And there's a block button. I didn't realize. That. Oh, we got enough copper. Yay, yeah, but there's more copper over here. So I'm going to mine this all out. So it looks like once you go down a level, you can't go back up. Oh, is that a slime? Oh, he's got a star next to him. He must be like a, uh, or is that, oh, it's just his. I didn't realize that they had the, uh, the little blobby thing on their head there. Unless he's like a king slime. Oh, he dropped sneakers? What? Whoa! That's cool! So, if we go over here, can we find the uh, ladder down to the next level? It's right there. Nope. It's 740 though and I'm running low on energy. That's kind of a bummer because that means I'm going to have to, I am going to have to go back up. Yeah, I'm just going to go back up. Leave the mine. Cause let's not yeah, look how low our energy is. We're at twenty-one to two seventy. Our health's fine, we're at ninety-five out of a hundred, but let's not tempt fate here. We don't wanna end up passed out trying to uh trying to be rescued or something and then get sick or some other mechanic like that, I don't know. I feel like all of those would be kinda bad. So, Egg Festival is tomorrow. I'm very hyped for that. We're going to have enough stuff now to... The cat is there. Aw, kitty. Oh, but... oh, damn it. Furnace, no. Didn't mean to do that. Um... 
those away because those are going to take a while to cook up geode granite actually we want that out there bug meat um so this will cook up into a uh a lovely lovely little ingot oh that down there can i pet my kitty Okay, oh, so it's kind of weird. I can like pick the cat up, but I can't really move him. Um, so, weather report for tomorrow. It's gonna be perfect weather for egg hunting. All right. Yeah, we'll go to sleep for night, 940. How'd we do? Only made 215 gold. Not, not great, but good enough. And that will be it for today's episode. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of Stardew Valley. More coming soon. Until then, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.